Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to New Cycle once more to our glorious Sleepy Hollow Town that is day 83 we are right now and yeah we're we're still alive that's a good thing isn't it uh, we have also started with the tools production right over there and as we can see stockpiling on this it is summer right now things are easy for the moment reason for that is of course good weather no storms no well thunderstorms or anything like that and also plenty food with our latest tack that makes it possible for us to have hunters and with that produce more food than ever preparing for winter primarily that is we're working on a medium ration right now this one has started again with the meat consumption perfect so we have everything here running and we just finished the second forge that's something we actually need because we need more iron ingots mm, i have three more workers available let's actually assign two of them for that right now to consume the iron ore that we have and with that i'm also going to increase my tools production again by one more person having more tools and more iron ingots is always a nice thing with that no more work is available so i need to be careful about how i handle my future uh, workplaces here speaking about workplaces um we do have we do have still one more workplace per se that we need to establish and that's the power grid and though our methods are primitive we have no chance of thriving unless we produce massive amounts of power with which we operate similar massive machinery this unlocks me the windmill and well electricity in general and it does require a few resources iron ingots among them and let's start with that it's the last tag also that we have then here in the second cycle the new iron age and then we can actually move on to cycle three the roots but i think it's going to take a bit more than that Now, there is actually a basic electricity production uh, from the get-go. That's the main hole that's producing 200 kilowatt of power, um, I guess, per month. And we are already consuming that with the shacks, the smith, and the tavern. Now, the shacks actually make up the primary area here. We have a lot of them, right? So there is a bunch of them that are actually not working right now. Unfortunately, I cannot turn them off, right? So there is no, no button for this. There's this button here that makes it possible... That it does not consume electricity anymore but it's not possible for shacks to be controlled in this case here even though we do have um yeah a lot of empty spaces here so i guess i mean there was a quest for it right and with the quest we yeah we had to build them i'm going to delete some of them again there is no other way we're getting back half the resources anyway and we're full on those so that's actually fine there we have it also electricity has been researched uh, i think we have this one here, this one here, you can also delete. Yeah, and that's reducing the load again to negative 25, right? And then we can go in now and build us the windmill. We have the resources for that. And with the windmill, yeah, well, we also need to place it in an area where we do have high winds, I guess. Um, Here it is. Here is a field of electricity that would be possible. So I can go ahead here and place it. Um, up there by the ocean would also be possible of course let's have it a bit further outside for now um, probably somewhere here there you go and this will build or this will produce medium amounts of electricity for us So what are the requirements for roots? Uh, we do need the knowledge points, we have them. And then we need two more people and then we can already go for it. Um, let's just have a look, we have what we have no children available right now that's interesting no children seems like it we also have no unoccupied that's of course um yeah well quite obvious having no children i wonder why no one likes to school the poop around all right right now though we have good morale actually it's not so bad we have a high health rating hmm. we'll just wait there it is that was quick the windmill finished in all its glory and producing now electricity for us. It's being automatically added then to the grid as far as I'm concerned. And with that, we can get going. Um, we just need to get, I think, this road over it so that we have this grid expanded because as you can see, there's the power poles then, right? And with that, we have the connection. And how lucky it is, just by the ocean, there's a group of travelers, I think it's three of them, on the way right now probably trying to live in my town and that would push us please please want to live here 
Well, they are coming in. Let's have a look at a new mission. Specialization Chief, we've accumulated a massive pool of know-how, but it remains largely undirected and unrealized. We need to train individuals with more advanced knowledge and practical experience in certain fields. These people will take on specialized tasks rather than odd jobs. We'll put them in charge of buildings wherein they can put their expertise to use. And we should begin training craftsmen as soon as we can. We need to set up some standards, various field works, establishing qualifications. And we'll start. The new world calls for a new training system. Craftsman training times and resource requirements halved. Worker to craftsman training success rate increased. We need more power tools. And the efficiency of for the craftsman class is reduced. Our future will be built by competent hands. Efficiency for craftsmen. Uh, work accidents reduction. Yeah, let them work more sa more slowly, but also safely. Right? Worker to craftsman training success rate decreased. It takes more time for them but it's the safer way. And with that, we have new regulations, intensified craftsman training, develop the vocational training and build a technical boot camp. But I think that's actually something, there it is, for cycle three then. And yes, there's the group of travelers, three of them, perfect. That pushes us to 50, 51. We, by the way, also have some kids again. And we got three new workers that I very much appreciate. By the way, here I think also we have, yeah, harvested all the resources, the stone and the wood. So I no longer need that field camp here and can delete it. All right, and we can build another one then somewhere else because, of course, we'll always need them. And we have one over here for logs. We'll definitely, I mean, we have 955 logs. So I would rather like to combine it again with stone. So over here. We could do it, right? Here it has both of it available again. Let's build it here. They're only temporary anyway. Oh, and it's very dry right now. You can also see this on the ground. I like the details. New cycle! And with that, already, cycle 3 has begun. And with that, a whole bunch of new buildings we get and a whole bunch of new resources as well. Clay and bricks. I love the icons on these. No, I really do. <laughs> reminds me of something else. Let's have a look as well. Public health is also playing an important role now. Uh, for the community health is deteriorating to the point that we may start losing many of our fellows soon. Lack of care, malnutrition, hygiene problems, the harsh seasons. Let us not have remind us the factors at play. And likewise, working out in the cold without proper clothing is also a problem. Let's take the right steps to achieve at least a regular health and try to maintain it for 30 days. Another quest that we have now. And for this, first of all, let's have a look at the tech tree. Because we should start with that rather soon. Some of them actually require something that we don't have yet, so I can't just go in and make everything work here. Valence would be possible, not really. Alright, so what I can see is building statics and vocational training are the only ones right now available to us. And yeah, let's go ahead with the technical bootcamp. This unlocks us the craftsman that we need for everything else then. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, and increase the worker class health above 40. Hmm, for this I will probably need a bit more water then as well. Let's find us a new, a new well, a new source of water. And I think, you no, know, this one we're already using. This one we are using, uh, it's getting tight on the water market. I think over here we have a bit more. There it is. And that's a pretty big one. Yeah. So here I can have a new well. Not that far away as well. Get all of them in. They don't require workforce, so it's fine for me to have them that far outside. No one needs to, to travel to this area. Alright, for this one here, that's actually having a time limit, right? So it's ticking down. We need to do something. First of all, we have enough food for the moment. So let's, first of all, reduce the workload that we have because this is a pretty big deal. And then we can also increase the rations to extra and also the water rations to extra and also the tools to extra. So this gives me now a health boost as well on top of everything. Everybody's got some housing, so there's not that much more that I can see that we could do right now. Um, let's have a look here. As we can see, health is low at the moment. I need to get it to regular. Above 40. 
above 40. Workforce condition is the biggest factor besides clothing distribution rate. This is something I haven't researched yet. Hmm. We don't have any health services though. Where should I get high health services? Right now with the... Yeah, we could go ahead with inpatient rest relief. This actually gives me a boost of 20 health. Let's have it activated for now. That's another nice boost, obviously. I would also like to go ahead with the technical boot camp as my next building. Now, this actually consumes 95 electricity. Probably not going to be enough, right? So I do need to expand my power grid. Up here, we have the, the source of power then. Let's actually go ahead and also have it then here somewhere. And then we have the boot camp and let's have this one here in the center somewhere close to my main hall. Also coming along now. And this will unlock us the craftsman, the second tier of residence. Very good. And we have actually already completed the class health above 40. And this actually gives me a minor boost to confidence, I guess. And yeah, with that, let's quickly have a look at it. We are at 26 now. So regular health for these. Healthy R51. And I can <laughs> go ahead and reduce the rates again. Because I really want to stockpile for winter and increase the working conditions once more. Actually, uh, nah, let's stay with one. This gives me the highest efficiency that I can actually achieve right now. All right, where's my next windmill? There it is. And there is also my camp. The boot camp in construction. Food-wise, uh, it's actually uh, end of summer soon. Meat-wise, I might have a look. Are we having meat here? Yes, we have. And there's no more mushrooms, so let's actually assign three people to meat. I think that the meat production will work, continue to work through winter, right, after it replenishes. And here we have also nothing available anymore. So we completely emptied everything around us. Mm. There is another source of meat. Two more sources of meat that I'm going to, to get here. And there's also mushrooms here. Alright, so there is a new camp. It's really far away though. And then, of course, we also have the ocean available to us on the other side. And there's fish. Perfect. There's a fishing ground here, so that we can use. Food is everything. We need to keep regular food active during winter. All the way out here. Oh, development has also been completed for the technical bootcamp and the paper. It's strange, we were already building the boot camp, were we not? Yeah, I think I did. And here we have now the hunter. Oh, that's lots of meat. That's looking really nice. Let's assign two people to that. Get mushrooms in and the meat. And over here we have How then the innocent. fish available. All right, also here, for several generations before our times, independent individuals have been organized and stable enough to devote their lives to developing practical expertise in a subject. This was unimaginable in such a world. Until now, we have shown enough patience and resilience to make it possible. Craftsmen will shape our community with their skills and experience that help us move more confidently into the unknown. They can make special contributions that exceed our former expectations, especially when their needs are satisfied. There it is. Looks like a church. It's a school though. And in here we can now assign workers. It will need some paper. And I guess paper is something that we should be producing now. We got the community knowledge. No. Where's the paper? There's the paper. We don't have paper yet. So where is paper made? Of course in the lumber mill. And there we have it now paper production. I do have enough lumber for now, so let's actually switch to paper and start on that. Right, and with that we'll be able then to train new craftsmen. Actually quite expensive. 
So I can see that these guys are going to be quite valuable for our community. Gathering camp. This one here, I think, is totally out of mushrooms. So I'm further going to reduce it to reassign them up here. And I've got one more person available that can actually start on the fishing. And thanks to make, uh, making solid progress, we also get 35 morale to all classes. Well, that's okay. Yeah, food is going down. I'm pretty sure of it by now. Two soup kitchens don't seem to be enough. An aid for memory. We've grown fast, Chief. Knowledge will gain more and more importance as we keep growing. As a community, we need ways to produce and share knowledge more effectively. Our first step in these efforts should be to start producing paper. Yeah, we can do this. Alright, so 400 paper is my target here now. And that's exactly how much I need actually for building, uh, for training two craftsmen. What is going on with my water? That's not okay. Hmm. I'm waiting another day to see it. But I think with the new arrival of people. Yeah. And now more have grown up as well. We've just gained three more workers. We'll see where the food is going. I'm not too happy with it for the moment. And it's autumn. And last season before everything goes downhill again. <laughs> Come on, you lazy salts. Produce me more mushrooms and meat. And also more fish. Alright, so fish we can actually stockpile to use it then during winter to cook. Doesn't really make sense, I guess. We are freezing it. Where's my fish? I should have fish now. There it is. Alright, so we got some fish in stock. Alright, also here, this gathering camp is out of business for now. The mushrooms and the meat will come back though, right, with the with the new year. So this always depletes at the end of the year. Same goes with this one. A bit of meat is still left. It still has lots. Alright, we also have enough paper to start two craftsman trainings. And there's also the mission successfully completed. Takes quite some time too. We need more food still. Now we are really growing nicely there. I'm pretty sure the next winter will be quite long. And by the way, we're definitely producing too much iron here. Let's tone it down. Let's actually turn off one of the iron mines. And there we have it. One trainee was ready to go for craftsman. The other one is still a worker. So this is the chance that we've been talking about, right? So we have a lower chance, but it's safer. And these are going to be better craftsmen then. It's just costing me a lot of paper every time we do this. But at least we got one. Alright, and there's the craftsman class now. Starts with simple meals. Uh, you can go for regular and also regular water. Keep morale high. And with paper and craftsman, we should be able now, yep, to get other tech. So the building static would be my next one here. Gives me the kiln, the pit, clay and bricks. I think we're also going to need another sawmill or lumber mill. Let's go ahead and do this actually because uh, we are also producing now not only lumber but we also need to continue producing paper now. So we still have some spot here for something else. Probably another forge at some point. Also turn it down at the workforce and get some more people into the lumber business. Training complete. Ah, once again, was not successful. And building a future chief. If we want to build a future in this nameless land and make it last, we'll need people more than anything else. Let's set an aim to increase our population to 100 within the next four years. 
the sooner we achieve this, the sooner we can become self-sufficient. And our goal is set. <laughs> I mean, we're at 53. Perhaps I might have overdone it there a bit. Nah, we have plenty of space. And let's hope that we get more kids in than usual. Alright, winter is upon us. It starts to snow. And my kitchens work. I'm going to... I think we can actually keep the normal meals for now. There it is. Winter started once more. Also finished that next lumber mill. Let's assign three, four people to it. And with that, lumber production is up again. Together with the paper. There it is also. Clay and brick production unlocked. Hmm. A surveillance camp might sound good. Weaving is my goal through here. Alright, with that we can go for clothes. We need 850 paper for that though. So, let's wait it out. I like how the symbols are shown above the building so we always know what's what we can expect out of it. Alright, we're still producing mushrooms. Or we're still consuming them now. We still have them in stock. So this should actually last us through a winter. I hope so. We have enough meat. And then we have fish too. Does fish work during winter? Yes it does. That's a very good thing. Slow but steady. Also tone it down here. For the workforce. So we have 7 people available right now. And I could tone it down on the workforce mode, but I don't have to because we keep everything here to regular. And with that, we don't need to tone down anything. Alright, halfway through winter, we still have enough food. And we still not run out of mushrooms. Looks very good. Unending preparations. We need proper preparation to sustain our life here. One of the most important lessons of the last 50 years has been that we can't rely on the seasons to behave as we expect. Fickle atmosphere can breed hellish heat waves and freezing colds in any geography. This state has only worsened with time. It would be foolish to expect it to get better from here. We need to stock up on our essential needs. This will help us cope with the extreme. Stock 5000 water and 1000... When? Mm, there's no time limit here, right? Okay. Let's go for it. Nope, there's no time limit on this. I just need to do it. And for water, we are very close with that. For the simple meals, I'm confident that we can also achieve this. I just need another soup kitchen. Mm. Build another soup kitchen. And, I mean, we have the workforce and we got enough field camps now. Don't forget, winter is over soon again. And then all the mushrooms will be regrown. So we can do this. I could also just set the rations to zero. And do we have... more water? Up there is a bit more water that we haven't used yet. Oh, very low visibility right now. But so far so good. We're at 722 paper now. We continue producing that and we should actually reach 800. I'm not going to train anyone else for now. Actions, we could go for impatient rest leave. Let's activate this one once more. We don't need that much work uh, condition right now, right? So I'm fine with it. This should lower it a bit. My productivity overall, but it also increases the health, which is something we need to do during winter. No children again, uh, that's not good. Regular morale. Basic tools. We're still growing nicely on the tools. Now ah, let's keep it as is. The next soup kitchen has been finished. And here, let's go for fish. As far as I can see, the simple meal does not spoil. So we can just produce it. We are full on water. 5,000. 
Yep, very good. Stockpiled it. And that's the end of the year. Winter is over once more. Annual report. We have replenished by 60%. Ah, the renewable resources were replenished by 60%. So I can see this number going down, right? Um, water production was more than we consumed. Rations more than we consumed. And lots of new structures. Also, one people, one person perished. No, accident was one, but zero people perished. And ten births occurred. So far so good. We got the first craftsman in. And it's now to us to start with the brick production. The cove production. And we continue onwards from here in the next episode of New Cycle. Stay tuned. <laughs>